for the, uh, the walking and talking uh, monologues between myself and Ben, who plays Mark, Joe, for rehearsal process, made us do it out in the, in the public, and we did it down Brick Lane. And I think it might have been a Friday, sort of early evening, so it was buzzing around there. Uh, it was great because, although the stuff we talk about was very much everyday nature, it was a little bit, it's quite violent based as well, like there's some, the language that we use towards each other was fairly heavy going, so to be saying that sort of stuff in the public and around people, we did raise, not, not eyebrows so much, but definitely there's attention brought on us and it was great because instead of going out there like you were, you would do in a character and being a bit over the top about it, we had to sort of pull it in, keep it as much to like real life situation as exactly what's happening between me and Mark. It added a whole new dynamic to it. It felt really uh, natural um, and authentic because it was a walking and talking scene. So it helped both of us just to like, just be more at ease and more comfortable with what we were saying and how we were saying it and taking in our surroundings as we were doing it, so as you would do in that situation. Yeah, uh, shooting in the state was a wake up call to say the least I suppose. We, uh, we used people who Joe know who uh, wasn't actors um, as such and uh, they basically lunch from this estate, it was their manor. <laughs> yeah, I had, there's a shot where I had to walk through them and um, Joe sort of never really specified what he wanted them to do other than just sort of block them away, just let them be themselves. And uh, yeah, got mugged, mugged, which was, uh, was an experience in itself. Uh, one of the lads managed to uh, let me know and put his hand in my pocket and take my actual wallet out. Didn't even notice it when we cut and went to the next thing. He came up to me and went, there you go, mate, uh, your wallet. Didn't even realise he'd taken it, really. Uh, I think I remember calling him something like the Artful Dodger and he didn't know who I meant by that. Probably thought it was some dance act from like the 90s or something. 